I think I always made art as far back as I can remember. I first started looking at Nora Cohen's work a couple of months ago and having conversations with her about um, her paintings and how she makes them and what she's passionate about. If I think back to, you know, the first time that I started to make art, um, it wasn't really one specific age that jumped out. Um, it was really um, something that I feel like I've always done. Um, you know, thinking back to, you know, the youngest memories that I have, you know, when I was like two, three, four years old, um, I was already, you know, interested in, in art. Um, I don't necessarily think that that is a um, unique thing for myself. I think that children are inherently connected to making art. There's just something really pure and unfiltered about children and, and creativity. Um, I think what is unique is the continuation of that. Um, and um, that it didn't really stop and it wasn't stifled and it wasn't cut off. I think I first consciously started to think of myself as an artist um, around junior high school. Um, I think around that age, you're searching for your identity. You're starting to ask those existential questions. Who am I? Why am I here? And um, for me, art was always something that provided me with that identity and you know I think that time in your life is a very turbulent time your hormones are starting to kick in you're you know you're going through that sort of like teenage angst kind of thing and um, uh, for me being an artist and starting to develop and hold on to that identity was really um, an amazing wonderful thing to have and a blessing. Nora Cohen is a native New Yorker she grew up on Long Island. I came from a community um, which was kind of unique uh, religious community and art wasn't something really that people did as a profession. Coming from the community that I came from I definitely felt a little bit different than most of the kids and um, you know I think some of that was my own, I put that on myself and some of it was put on me um, and you know I was really looking forward to meeting other like artsy kids you know because there were you know there were a few and you know those were my close friends but um, you know I was looking forward to having a connection with other people like me. Then she went to Parsons. Moving from my high school, which was a very, um, you know, I went to Yeshiva High School, and um, so we learned, you know, basically, we had an English curriculum and a Hebrew curriculum, and, you know, we had the secular studies and the Judaic studies, and it was just like a very specific, regimented kind of um, place. Growing up in a religious community, you're, you're taught um, a lot of religious ideals and then also a lot of secular ideals. There was really a profound impact in the desire and the need to search for something greater than myself. And then like there was art school which seemed like this like wild frontier to me. I really feel really, really fortunate and lucky that um, my parents were so supportive and you know there's you know, in my mom's house there are tons of my paintings. In my dad's house, you know, he has painting hanging up on the wall. Would they have preferred that I would have been drawn to something more stable, perhaps? Probably. Um, but I think that that's probably what all parents want. I think parents want their children to be stable and safe and um, not have to worry about money, for example. But even in the face of that, they really were incredibly, incredibly supportive and really recognized um, that this was something that I needed to do. And, you know, I ended up being able to go to art school. And, you know, it was a little bit of a struggle and, you know, but. I think that um, it was all out of love. Any kind of tension or struggle that there was, it was because my parents wanted the best for me, or what you know they thought was the best for me, and it was coming from a place of love. And then, you know, in the end, they have been so incredibly supportive and you know allowed me to go and find myself. Then she went to California to go to graduate school. I was really interested in having just the time and the space and the setting and the environment to to really allow my work to grow and to mature into its most authentic voice. Um, that's really, that's, that's what for me the, um, the MFA was all about. In the search for myself, I found art to really be like an anchor and um, I held on to it.